from someone who I think is one of the funniest men in the world, please. Richard Morton, let's hear it for him. Oh, please. Oh, hey. Oh, please. Oh, hey. Steady on. Thanks a lot. What a fantastic welcome. <laughs> Thanks. No, I the last time I came here, I was heckled. I was heckled on. It's true, true. I walked out and somebody shouted, Bugger me, it's Billy Idol's dad. <laughs> All right, well, let me ask you a question. How many people here think that Baywatch is too smutty for being on, like, at six and seven on an evening on the, on the telly? All right, then, hands up anybody here that's ever sat in front of Baywatch with a big box of Kleenex <laughs> and given themselves a good seeing to? Come on, hands up. <laughs> Come on, I know I have. <laughs> Mind you, I got chucked out of Dixon's. Would you like to put a deposit on that TV set, sir? Yes, I would. <laughs> One of the smutty stories. You know John Wayne Bobby? You know the guy that got his thing cut off with Lorena Bobby, his wife, and the 12-inch carving knife, and then sewn back on, yeah? You know? <laughs> yeah, only women laugh at that, if you notice that. <laughs> Do you know that since that happened, there have been 34 cases around the world of the same thing, including one... Yeah, yeah great. Only women going, yes! <laughs> All the guys going, oh! <laughs> yeah, including one Sicilian guy who chopped his own one off because the Mafia killed his best mate. <laughs> yeah, let me run that past you one more time. Has anybody here got mates like that? Can you imagine your mates coming up going, Oh, hello, Dave. Richard's been killed by the Mafia, so I've chopped my genitals off. What about you? <laughs> uh, I'll just send a wreath if that's all right, really. <laughs> I mean, you don't like anyone that much, do you? Anyway, I've got to do a quick song for you now about the Bobbitt case. My song about the Bobbitts, John Wayne and Lorena Bobbitt. And, uh... Thank you. And it's the new single, now available as a seven inch. Here we go. Imagine how it feels laying on your bed. Your eyes are closed, you're sleeping. And you're naked <laughs> And your legs are gently spread <laughs> And someone takes a grip Of your tender little tip And you open your eyes and you realize It's your wife with a knife and she's gonna let <laughs> so you jump up out of bed But it's too late to dodge her Cause she's got a knife And she's whipping off your torture You say <laughs> Oh no baby Don't be silly But you wave bye bye To your willy <laughs> John Bobbitt goes Oh Put down that carving knife Lorena And give me back the top of my prick <laughs> That kitchen knife back on the kitchen drainer and call me an ambulance quick But Lorraine ran away Though I was begging her to stay Oh yeah, Lorraine ran away Though the crime I thought was heinous <laughs> Now there's no love lost between us <laughs> She had my gland in her hand as she drove up in the car. She decided to lob it. <laughs> Out of the window on the freeway flew the manhood of John Wayne Bobby. But imagine what would happen if a doggy came along. <laughs> and he fancied for his supper that little piece of dong. Oh, if a doggy passes by And he wanted some one-eyed trouser snake pie You'd say don't let him eat what he finds in the hedge Cause that's the meat from my meat and two veg And John Bobbitt's going, oh Put down that carving knife, Lorena I've been robbed of the throb from the top of my knob Now I'm a sexy will abstainer My grand's gonna see this, what am I doing? Now I'm a sexy will abstainer I'll be useless on the job And I never 
thought you'd sever the thing that I was keeping for you forever. Cause now I've got a stitched up stiffy. It's you, Wiffy. Oh, yeah. I got a flip top chopper. That's a really common cropper. Oh, yeah. I said put down a Nacarina. But it was too late to stop. Richard Moore, thank you. Good night. Uh... Thank you, Lord. thank you. Richard Morton. Richard Morton there.